Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to customize product category page in WooCommerce. So let's begin. All right. So to customize a product category page, first of all we have to go inside the plugins and click on the Add New Plugin. And here we have to search for Shop Blender. Okay. So we have to install this. We have to click on Activate. After that, what we have to do, we have to go inside the elements and here we have to search for universal product. And as you can see here, that is already enabled. So we're going to use this element while customizing our product category page. But before that, we have to go inside the WooCommerce. Okay, so we have to click on the categories so that we can see what kind of the categories we are having. So you can see here that we have the active wear, we have the casual, we have the evening dresses and the work and office. So these are the categories that we have right now. But if you want to create your own new category, obviously right now it won't have any product. But to add that, you're going to add the name here. And then you have to decide the parent category if you want to add this. And after that, if you want to do add the description of this, you can also do this. And after this, you also have the display type. So whether it would be the default or the products or the subcategories. So here I think it would be the products. All right. And after that, you're going to have the thumbnail and then filling all the detail. You would click on add new category. But right now we don't need any new category here. All right. So now what we have to do, we simply have to go inside the pages and click on the add new page. So right now let's just click on add it with Elementor. Alright, so here as you can see this, we are inside the Elementor editor. Here we will actually customize our product category page. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to add the container with the single column structure. And in here, I'm going to have the heading first. That will have the name of the category. Okay, so let's just add the add element. Go here with the heading. Let's just drag this, put this here. And uh, let's just click on our main container because I want to change the content width that will be to the full width and also we're going to go into the style let's just change this into the border type and this will be the black color perfect and now what we have to do we actually have to change the heading color so that would be white color obviously and we're going to put this into the center and here I will actually change the heading. So this will be, let's say, casual, which is actually the name of one of our categories. Okay, so one thing that I have to do here is to add some space from the top. Okay, so for that, I'm going to go into the advanced. Let's just add some padding here from the top. So I'm going to go here with the 30 px. Uh, we can go here with the 20. I think this will look fine. And also we can add the 20 or the 30 from the bottom. And after this, what we have to do, we actually have to add the universal element. So here, let's just click on universal product layout. Let's just drag this and put this here. And here you'll be able to see our products. Okay. So in our universal product layout. So first of all, let's just add some spacing from the top. All right. So let's just go back here into the advanced. Add the padding. So I'm going to add the padding from the top side. So let's just go for 60. Yeah, this will look fine. All right. And now we're going to go back and do the layout. Let's just click on our element here. Okay. So in our universal product layout, you can see here we have the multiple different options in the content. So we are having the different settings here. So the first one is a layout setting in which we have the two different options. The, the one is slider. Okay. So right now we only have the three products here. So if I just change the number here, let's say I'm going to go here with the, let's say I'm going to go here with eight products. Now you will be able to see the slider here. Okay. But if I just click on the layout setting again, and if I wanted to have the tab here, I can also have the tabs. You can see here we're having all the products that we have. And I think this is looking better. We're going to go here with this one. And after this, we have the query setting. Okay. So in the query setting, you can see this. We can filter the products by the different options. So we can filter the product by recent products, featured products, best selling products, 
uh, sale products, top rated products, and random products, and show by ID. And also, you can add the ID manually. But right now, we're going to go here with the default value. And the product limit that I have added here is the add. And after this, you can actually add the product category. So, since as we know that we are actually customizing the casual categories, so I'm going to basically filter the products by casual category. But we have a kind of a problem here. It's not a problem. We actually have only two products in our casual category. So that is why I'm going to also add the other categories right now so that we have some products here. Okay, so we're going to go here with the active wear. Let's just add and let's just add the evening dresses. And in the last, we have the work office. All right. So here you can see this. If we add the product categories, you can see the products by category. So you can see this. We have the casual, we have the evening dresses, and we have the work and the office. But if you don't add the product categories, everything will be visible all together. So this is what I wanted to have right now. Okay. And after that, you can see the option of out of stock items if you want to exclude them. So if you want to exclude them, you're going to simply enable this. And if you want to exclude the hidden items, you can also do this from here. After that, we have the content setting. So in the content settings, we have the style. So in the style, we are having four different styles. If I just click on the second one, you will be able to see some changes in our product card here. So if I just go here with the style three, this is how it is looking. And if I go here with the style four, this is how it is looking. And I think this is looking good. I'm going to go here with this one. And after that, you can see this. We have the title HTML tag. If you wanted to change the tag from here, you can also do this. And also, you can see here, we also have the option to hide out the different sections. So if you wanted to hide the title, you can simply enable this option. And now you won't be able to see the title. But obviously, we need to have the title back. So I'm going to go back to the default value. So after that, you can hide the price category. So you can see a kind of line here before our category. So I don't want to have this actually. So for that, what I can do, I can actually disable this from here. I think this is looking good now. Yeah. And after this, we also have the rating. But since we don't have any ratings on our products, you won't be able to see it. But if you do have the rating and if you want to hide this, you can simply enable this option from here. And after this, we have the action button settings. So the action buttons are actually these two buttons. The one that you can see here with add to card and the second one is quick view so if you don't want to have them on your product card you can simply disable this and then you won't be able to see it and if you only want you to have the add to card button text you can simply enable this but if you want you to have the action button you can enable this so i'm going to have the action button here this is looking good and we have the different styles for that so let's just click on the second style and let's just go here with the third one okay so i think i'm going to go here with the default one the one that is actually transparent and after this we have the show on the hover and the normal so if i just change the value to the hover now this action button will only be visible on the hover effect and i think this is looking good and after that you can also change the position of action button okay so if i wanted to go here on the bottom now you'll be able to see our action button on the bottom but this is not visible here so what we can do here, we can actually go here to the right side. Okay, you can see here. And in the last, you can see we also have the add to cart button text. So if you want to show add to cart button text, you can also show this from here. And after this, we have the image settings. So in the image settings, we have the thumbnail style. So here we have the three different values. So if you want to go here with the single value, you can simply go here with the default one. But if you wanted to go here with the image slider, you can see here now we have the slider on our product images. Okay, so if I just click here or maybe on this one, you will be able to see the different images here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go here with this one. And you can also change the background color of the dots and also the active background color of the dots. And in the last, we have the countdown settings. So if you wanted to show countdown timer, you can simply enable this from here. And after that, we have the style here. So in this style, you can see this, we have the padding, we have the margin. So I'm going to add some padding here. So let's just go here with the 20 PX or maybe we're going to go here with the 30. Now this is looking good. And after this, you have the border color. So if you want to add the border color, you can also do this. 
and after that we have the content area we have the background color and we have the product page so in the product page you can see this we have the batch color we have the out of stock page color and the batch background color and after this we also have the typography so you can see this in the product category we have the typography again we have the category color we then have the category hover color so you can see this whenever i hover over the category you will be able to see the orange color so if you want to change this you can simply do this from here okay similarly we have the styling for the product title we have the styling for the product price and product rating as well and after that we also have the styling for action button so in the action button you will be able to see the background color you will be able to see tooltip color so this is actually the tooltip color that you can see here on the add to cart so if you wanted to change this to any other color you can do this from here and after this you have the font color and, and all of those basic settings that we have on our elements okay so i think this is enough and in the last we also have tab menu style so in the tab menu style you can see that we are having these uh, similar kind of the options so we have the typography color and the border type and we have the border and also the padding in the margin for our tab menu okay but right now i think this is looking good and this is how we can customize our product category page okay so now let's just click on publish now let's click on have a look now you will be able to see our customized product category page okay and this is looking really good all right so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel